Hi Year 12s, welcome to this little video. Um, in this video we're going to look at calculating the difference in latitude and longitude and working with the two to solve different questions. Just a hint, um, if you're trying to find the difference between um, the, the angles or the degrees, if the cities are in different hemispheres then you need to add the degrees together and if the cities are in the same hemisphere then you subtract. That should make more sense when we get to the examples which we're going to right now. Okay, the first example, um, now these examples are in your textbook, so um, I do suggest you copying down the words. Um, don't need to worry about the picture so much, that's just to give you a, a visual representation of what's happening here. So, Sydney's coordinates are 34 degrees south and 151 degrees east, while Tokyo is 135 degrees north and 139 degrees east. Find their difference in latitude. So we've got Tokyo here at 35 degrees north and Sydney here at 35, 34 degrees south. Now they're in different hemispheres. So to find the, the difference or the distance between the two, I need to add them together. So I want to go 34 plus 35, which gives me 69 degrees. Okay, difference in longitude. Now this is our prime meridian here, uh, so and they're both in the eastern um, hemisphere. I've just noticed an error there. It actually says 151, so I'm just going to change that to a one. Um, so what we want to do is we want to subtract the two because we want to find the different distance from here to here. So what's going on there? So we want to go 151 minus 130, oops, 39, which gives us 12 degrees. Make sure you write the degree sign in there, guys. It's a really important part of the answer. Last part, which one, which city is further west? Now, they are both in the eastern hemisphere, but we can make a decision as to which one is further west. Remember, this side over here will be east. And then going around, we'll go to the west. We can see just in our picture that obviously Tokyo is further uh, west. So, and that's that question done, guys. Okay, example two. Goldburn has coordinates of 34 degrees south and 149 degrees east. If Armadale is 4 degrees north and 2 degrees east of Goldburn, what are its coordinates? Now, the first thing we need to do here is find the latitude and the longitude, and then we can write the coordinates out. So we can see here, drawing a nice diagram for us, we're going up towards the equator, so we actually need to subtract 4 degrees from 34 degrees south. So 34 minus 4 will give us 30 degrees, which you can see in our diagram. Now the longitude though is continuing to the east, so we need to add 2 degrees on there, so 149 plus 2 degrees gives us 151 degrees. And we should probably state that that is south and that that is east. So the reason, it can, I can understand how some people might get a bit confused with this. Certainly having um, a diagram or an image in your head will make this a lot easier. So once we've done that, we can now write out the coordinates. And it's always good to write it in a sentence. So um, the coordinates of um, fail, sorry, brackets. 30 degrees east, oh, sorry, south, and we've got 151 degrees east. We always state the north or south first and then the east and west second. Okay, keep going. So just a reminder if you're in different hemispheres, usually add, if they're the same, subtract. 
Um, there's, these were two different types of questions, so just be careful, read through the question, underline key information. Uh, in class tomorrow, so on Wednesday, I want you to complete exercise 901. So I want you to do questions nine, sorry, six to eight. And if you want to challenge yourself, do questions 10 and 11 as well. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'll talk to you later. Bye.